I'm peace on this time, mate. Tame and power. so scared. So I definitely wanted to go deep with the Tame Impala. So I sampled two Tame Impala records. Um, the first one was uh, Eventually, which is just one of my favorite records. It just reminds me of like a classic Beatles record, just when you listen to it. But it's like upgraded with these thick, thick sonic um, sounds in it. And I just knew that it would sound cool. So um, when I found that sample, I kind of just played it and it worked out really well. <laughs> So 
the other uh, track that I sampled from Tango Palo was the one called Expectation. Um, and this is this is another one of my favorite tracks. I mean, like I said, I, it's no it's no secret that I'm a big Tango Palo fan. Uh, this one I chopped up into four different kind of patterns that I like. So let me just go through them real quick. <laughs> Just chopped it up even more. I just wanted to get more and more just choppier, you know. Um, I, I just liked how it sounded the more I manipulated it. I, actually, I kind of got this from you earlier, too, when you showed me how to mess around with samples. So thanks for this. <laughs> I knew that he was gonna come with this like ridiculous two hot sample, so I wanted to put some like crazy vocal stuff on there. So I found this really cool Doctor Who sample. Let me play this real quick. It's long, but it's cool. never faltering, never fading. People, and planets, and stars will become dust, and the dust will become atoms, and the atoms will become nothing. And the wavelength will continue breaking through the rift at the heart of the Medusa Cascade into every dimension, every parallel, every single corner of creation. This is my ultimate victory, Doctor. The destruction of reality itself! So, you know, I was just... Hold on. I don't want to interrupt your beat. Breakdown. What the... Yeah. Let's go ahead. Basically... Um, wait, wait. You keep going. I, I, I was uh, I was on a quest to, to destroy reality. No, you were on a Willy Wonka boat about to enter yeah. the tunnel. That's what that was. This is definitely like a J Electronica like sample. I just wanted to get super weird. And I didn't even stop with that. Um, I found this Bjork sample. And, you know, this, if I ever, listen, find, uh, go on YouTube, guys, and look up Bjork talking about a television because it's about a two-minute clip of her talking about how TV, she thought that TV was bad and she stopped watching it because it made her crazy. And then she said that the person who told her that was an Icelandic poet who's really like a witch who lied to her and that you shouldn't trust Icelandic poets. It was the trippiest audio clip ever. So I took a piece of it. So this is Bjork on this. Shout out Bjork saying this. That she's uh, she used to be so scared of television because it only gave her a headache when she used to. And I became so scared. And I became so scared. To television that I always got headaches when I watched it. So that was in there as well. Um, but let's talk about the drums real quick because the drums were kind of freaky. Um, once again, I wanted to do a bunch of really loud, harsh sounds in this record. Like I wanted to make it just sound crazy. Like I didn't want to be conventional with this. So um, I put this weird sound. Sounds like a jet taking off or, or something like that. But the drums were still kind of having almost like a West Indian vibe to it. Um, I'm using a lot of these percussion sounds that sound like someone's knocking on a door um, because it sits between a kick and a snare. And I like the feeling of it because you can do whatever you want with it pattern-wise and it just feels good. So that's what I did with the 
this way. That's also an 808 that I pitch shifted up and down um, just to match the tone of the sample. So, you know, that's a very... So that was kind of the first part of the beat. And as you guys know, um, I like to make different sections of the beat. So I took it into another direction with the other sample, um, which is kind of in two parts. But I also added some drums to this. So let's talk about the drums on this one. Um, this was, I wanted the drums to sound different. So that was kind of like a weird, kind of like dark, like West Indian vibe. This one is supposed to be more like a regular hip hop beat. Real simple. But then I jazz it up a little. And we added a different sample to the end, just to switch it up. Once again, just going through different sections of the track and just adding more and more for each opportunity to switch things up. I like to have fun. Peace, so that's how I made it.